Well, thank you. I, it's a compliment, I hope. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Uh, the, uh, Melissa Rosenberg, who wrote the show, creator of our show, is I, it's a great deal of writing uh, and the thought behind is done by her, and she really did a great job. Every, every script we got, like the dialogue was written so well, the, the lines between the dialogue, if you read them, you really get a lot of information about the character. So just living off of the script pages and working with really great actors, my majority of my scenes were with Rada Mitchell, who was amazing. And it was really, it was really easy. There was nothing, there was nothing to it. It just happens. You know, you memorize your lines, they're really good, they become part of you and Rada reacts on everything I would say. It was, it was just, it was just easy. It was just a uh, no-brainer. I just hope it looks good. Marta's character, played by Rada Mitchell, she's coming from this uh, Russian mob family. But she's been out of it. She never been dealing with that. She thinks her husband is not doing anything illegal. And her life and world is pretty simple and nice. Soccer mom, housewife, kids, husband, lovable, everything is cool. And then one day her husband gets assassinated in front of her house. And she, and after that, she understands that her husband was uh, dealing drugs, that her family is not so perfect, that her dad is actually, you know, like pretty high in like Russian bratva that he runs a big operation and she's been forced into this um, forced work relationship with uh, my character, uh, Nikolai Schiller, uh, who is um, not part of Russian mafia, but you know, th his family is coming from Romania. So it's like, oh, the, he's kind of like uh, internationally connected in the crime world, kind of high up and uh, he deals with like legal businesses, illegal businesses all over the place. And uh, that relationship between Marta and him becomes kind of like an uh, important part of the show. And we kind of see what's happening with her, how she deals with the uh, criminal world. And during all that time, he kind of gets impressed by her in, um, in the way how she dealt with everything. And then the relationship kind of like changes dynamic. And uh, there's a lot of interesting things happening in eight episodes. Um, yeah, I have to say so, yeah, but then pretty much everybody in the show ends up doing something like that. You know, the beauty of this show, the, the reason why I like it so much is not that nobody's portrayed like black and white, nobody's bad guy, good guy, this and that. It's like everybody's going to be forced into a situation that they're going to need to react, uh, how they're going to react. So you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of like, uh, kind of personal moments which are really unusual to see like for example for a bad guy you know it's rarely you're going to see them uh, breaking apart because of uh, family emergencies or things like that so it's, it's very it's very kind of as much as you can say a realistic tv show on on network television drama but it is it's actually um something that maybe more belongs to cable than than on network and that's that's why i think it's going to be really interesting for people to see it